Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Among our top stories tonight, cleanup continues at the Genesee Valley Center Mall after a water main break flooded multiple businesses on Monday. Tanisha Thompson, founder and president of the nonprofit Sisters Supporting Sisters, says it was devastating to see her hard work go down the drain. She describes what she witnessed on Monday. When we first pulled up, it was water just pouring out of the doors. The whole parking lot was like basically full of water, which turned into a sheet of ice. So we opened the door. Um, my partner, Dante, he came in and our uh, ceiling tiles were just dropping. She says her insurance is handling it, although she's not sure if it will cover all expenses. Bay City is launching a new recycling collection service in the new year. The city received a grant from Recycling Partnership to install a fully automated system. Residents were given new bins and are asked to place only recyclable materials in them. That includes glass bottles and jars, aluminum and steel cans, food and beverage cartons, paper products like newspapers and flattened cardboard and empty plastic bottles and containers. Recycling will be picked up every other week on the same day as trash collection. The Coast Guard is urging people ice fishing to label their equipment after finding an empty ice shanty on an ice floe in the Saginaw Bay. They say labels don't have to have too much information, just a name and contact information. Inside, they discovered shanty were adult and children's gloves as well as food. The Coast Guard used an airboat and helicopter early Wednesday afternoon, but no one was inside the shanty and it's unknown if it was occupied when it broke free. Well, now here's Kyle with your forecast. Thanks, David. We've got a pretty uh, easygoing night for us overall. We've got the warm temperatures out there as well. No rain chances for us tonight. Here's a look outside of your first alert, Pinpoint Doppler live from MBS. They're out there spinning away, not picking up anything, just a cloud cover out there. We do have a little bit of fog that we have seen across mid-Michigan that's uh, continuing uh, to hold in place really for our US-127 communities. Uh, some light fog there. Further to the north, where we've got more of that snow uh, making it a little bit cooler and adding a little bit more moisture. Uh, that's where we've got more of that dense fog. It's it's really still not all that bad. Uh, once you get north of the Tri-Cities on I-75, uh, make sure you just take a few extra minutes of travel time there because we have had a few areas of locally dense fog out there. Those temperatures uh, currently in the upper 40s and low 50s for a lot of mid-Michigan, uh, partic particularly though here in the Tri-Cities and down to the south. 50 in Saginaw right now, 50 in Flint as well. As we continue throughout the overnight hours, we'll watch those temperatures continue to warm for us into tomorrow morning. Now notice it is dry tonight until we get into tomorrow morning. You're looking at 6 a.m. here. Showers for our 127 communities. That eventually does shift off to the east as we go through the later morning hours. Notice, though, those temperatures starting to fall across the west. Keep an eye on West Branch and Mount Pleasant there, currently in the mid 40s. They'll continue to fall as we go into the rest of the day on Friday. Rain chances, though, should be confined mostly to the thumb and down to Flint. We could see a few stray showers in the Tri Cities as well, but our western and northern counties should stay on the drier side. Now, notice uh, West Branch and Mount Pleasant there, down into the 30s, 40s for everybody else there. So temperatures cooling down for us as we go into the rest of your Friday with more of those rain chances lingering into your Saturday. Seven day forecast does stay warm overall. I think we spend most of Saturday in the 30s getting up to the 40 mark and then we've got the low 40s. So a little bit warmer for your Sunday as we go into Monday. Uh, we're looking a little bit warmer there as well and then into Tuesday those mid 50s for you cooling a little bit down as we get into the end of next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather and information.